three to one three to one three to one next we're going to go over the cost plan of this whole project you will have some financial information given to you you do not have to go and this is just my interpretation the way i would do this is look at the the choices you've made so for example if you've decided to use cloud instead of using um your own servers maybe leave your own servers out of the cost plan however before doing this section i would highly recommend you guys spend an hour on some youtube video that shows you the basics of how to use microsoft excel you don't want to calculate anything manually let me repeat that one more time you do not want to calculate anything at all manually microsoft excel has functions and formulas that you can use to work out everything that you want i've tried to come up with a very very basic spreadsheet to try and get the idea across this is the older paper and the way the older paper is worded is not as good as the newer one so what normally happens in the new one it says some you do the project you pay x amount after the first year of operation you need to read it carefully after the first year of operation um, it in it increases the annual revenue by let's say five percent then the second year after it goes up by 10 the third year after then it goes up by 15 so this is my spreadsheet here this is going to be year zero so i'm going to actually highlight all of this i'm going to drag it down one and i'm going to label it as year zero so year zero so this is the starting year again this is when you're doing the project this is how much it's going to cost initially you won't have to pay for everything every year but let's just assume you already know what you need to take out again this is year zero so what you would ideally need to do is work out the total and then work out your um your, your actual profit for the year so how do you work out the total I'm going to label this one here total. I'm going to go over to this cell here. Let me zoom in some more. And I'm going to type equals sum open bracket highlight all of this. So cost or you could do it the easy way. That was the long way. You could do the auto sum, which is over here somewhere. You click on this. It says auto sum top right hand corner. You add the arrow next to you. You click on sum and then it just tells you. And then you can just simply highlight the cells you want. So I can drag this one up to there. Press enter and it gives me the exact value. So I don't actually need to work everything out myself so now i can say profit profit let me spell that properly it is going to be that revenue so that's income essentially revenue is how much money you make cost is how much money you spend so profit is going to be equal to that 150 minus whatever this total is here we don't care what it is for now so that's the profit that we've made it doesn't look like much but a lot of businesses in the first year of doing things, they don't actually make much money. And it's the second, third, fourth, fifth year and onwards where they really start to make money. So this is year zero. When you go to year one, so year one, you're supposed to go up. Your revenue is supposed to increase by, I think it said 5%. Yes, so it said 5%. So your revenue is supposed to go up by 5%. So what I would do for revenue, I would leave all of this the same. For revenue, I would do equals or figure out a way to work out 5% of this. The easiest way I know to do it is just the way I would do it on paper would be equal the 150,000 plus the 150,000 again times 0 0.05 I think it said 5% yes yeah, so I'm just going to do that one and it gives us 157,500 so that's roughly we should not roughly that is an increase of 5% this is for year one so I'm going to put year one here year one here the cost I'm going to leave at 120 so you need to sit with your teachers and work out what you actually need to leave in the software development we're not going to need this anymore so I'm going to leave it as zero I'll leave it empty training I'm going to leave that as zero because we've already trained people terminals i'm going to leave that as zero software that we need leave it to zero cloud we will need cloud so if you chose cloud obviously you need to be paying your monthly cloud charge i think this was like 48 pounds i rounded it to 50 times it by 12 5 times 12 60 so 600 pounds maintenance i'm going to put that one back in 2250 because we know we're going to need to maintain things roughly you might not spend that money but you need to factor it in so this is my year one and what i need to do again is do exactly what i did before the total so I'm going to do equals sum. I'm going to highlight all of this stuff here. Press enter. That's the total money I've spent this year. And the profit is going to be different again. So I'm going to do equals the profit. This is the 5% increase minus whatever this total is here so you see we've made a bit more money not crazy amounts more but we've made a bit more maybe year one i can do five percent and then for year two we do exactly the same thing so year two we're gonna go up i think it said ten percent in this one uh ten percent yes at least ten percent so again same thing like before again know how to work out your percentages excel can do it for you i'm just doing it the way my head tells me this is the easy way i know equals that number there plus that same number there again from year one high 
times 0 0.10 or 0 0.1 because it said 10%. And that's going to be an increase of 10% from this. I'm going to put the 120,000 back and then I'm going to put the same thing here again. 0, 0, 0, 0, 600 for cloud fee, 2250. If you chose to use your own servers, you will not need a cloud fee. Keep in mind, your own servers are going to cost a massive number upfront. Let's just say for argument, say 20,000. So let's say your servers cost 20,000 upfront then you only need to pay that fee once. You never have to pay it again. So I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Total, click in there, equals some open bracket, highlight all of this, press enter, gives me my, my total there. It's going to be more or less the same as, as, as year one because everything is just carried over. And again, for profit, I'm going to do equals the new revenue for that year. Again, it's gone up by 5%, then 10% minus the amount of money I've spent. So I should probably put 10% here as well. 10% there. Drag this over a bit. Perfect. And the next uh, increase was an increase of 15%. So I'm going to do year three. I'm going to do 15% and do all the same things again. So again, to work out 15% of this, an increase of 15%, we do equals. Click on the previous year's number plus that same number again times 0 0.15 15% yep press enter that's our new revenue so that's how much money we're making now I'm going to do the same 120 again now the whole purpose of this was not just to show you that you can copy the numbers over your scenario is going to be different from mine I just pluck some numbers in here don't worry about the numbers it's the process you need to get right the process is what is important 0000, 000, 000 cloud fee 600 2250 for maintenance and for total again equals some open bracket highlight all of this same as before but this time Time, the profit is going to be different again. I'm going to do equals. I'm going to go to this year's revenue, this year's income, the amount of money I got for this year. Click on that minus the amount of money I spent for this year. So that's going to be revenue minus cost or total cost equals profit. And as you can see, first year or year zero, we made, uh, I think that's 10 grand. We made 34 grand. Then we made 50 grand. Now we've made 76 grand. This is roughly how you need to do your cost plan. This is not an exact way to do it. This is just a quick thing where I put in some numbers and I've showed you roughly how to do it. This is ideally what you want to do. This is the process you ideally want to follow. Please, please do keep in mind that your numbers are going to be completely different from mine. These are just the numbers I got from this old 2021 paper, which is not going to be relevant from September 2024 onwards. So please get your numbers correct, get your prices correct, get your values correct and follow the process of year zero, year one, year two, year three, however many years they've told you that you need to, to do. There was one thing I realized I left out out, and that is actually a comparison. So for here, I said I left cloud in as the main technology I'm going to be using. But ideally, what you want to do is have cloud and also have your server. So let's say you bought the server for 10 grand. So I'm going to move this down. You highlight all of that, drag it down, and I'm going to say server. And the initial price of that, let's just say 10 grand. Let's make it simple 10 grand. The total that you have needs to minus the server. So I'm going to say total with server. Then in here, I do equal some I highlight everything except for cloud and that's going to be my total for the server I also go ahead and change this total here and change it to total with cloud then I go back again change this I'm going to do equals some highlight all of this except for server now what this is going to do this is going to force us to do a comparison between both of them so I have a total this is the only choice I can make let's say for example you might have more choices I only have one the choice I can make is use the cloud or use my own server so the total with the cloud is going to be this here the total the profit with the cloud is going to be this profit here now i have total with server and i should also have profit with server so the profit again is going to be equal to that 150 minus this number down here this is the first year's profit it's going to change for each year but you need to work out these values for each year the thing that you might have to choose might not be cloud versus server it most likely is going to be or whatever the choice is, you have two different totals. The reason being, when you come to the justification section and you have to justify the cost, you can come back and say, well, with the cloud, it's going to cost me, let's say, 140,000, right? However, with the with my own server, it's going to cost me 150. I chose to go with cloud because I chose to go with server because. Please keep that in mind. Again, go ahead and do these calculations for every single year that you've done so far. So just another addition. If you've done server or the choice you've made is the thing where you buy it upfront and you have it forever, for example, for the server I won't need to pay for the server again for the following year and the server maintenance might actually fall on the maintenance here so where it says server here I'm going to put zero 
zero and zero. What that means again is that because I bought the server upfront, it's my big massive server sitting in a room somewhere. I don't have to pay anyone to use their cloud services. I only pay for it once compared to the cloud service I have to pay every single year I have it for. Looking back at the Mark scheme, I'm only going to be looking at Mark Band 2 and Mark Band 3. There's no point in focusing on Mark Band 1 in my opinion. So it says fully correct resources and accurate costs have been added. The plan resulting in an accurate estimate. Simply put, don't get any numbers wrong. <laughs> I think it's it, that's probably what he's trying to say there. Do your calculations, use your functions, don't do anything. For example, let's say I'm going to add um, the 15,000 here to the, uh, sorry, the 150,000 to the 112,000. Sorry. For example, I'm going to add the 150,000 here to the 120,000 here. We know for a fact that's going to be 272123. Don't ever do this for a total. There's no point in doing this when Excel gives you ways that you can do it. If I wanted to add this together, I simply do equals and it would make more sense to click on that one, then click on the plus sign, then click on that one, then click enter. Or if you wanted to add all of these, but you don't remember the way I did it, easy. You put your um, cursor in an empty cell, click equals, click on the first one, then plus, then second, then plus, then third, then plus, then fourth, then plus, and keep doing that until you have everything you need and press enter because that way you have your total. And if you go in here, so let's say for argument's sake, the benefit of doing this is let's say I go in here and oh, I think my software development wasn't supposed to be 10,000. It was supposed to be, I don't know, 12,500. So 12,500. When I press enter, keep paying attention to these numbers down here, the very two last numbers at the bottom, total and profit. When I press enter, those numbers change automatically. There was no need for me to go back in and type anything and recalculate anything. It does everything I needed to do straight away. So that's the benefit of using Microsoft Excel for this and also a benefit of using the built-in functions. Do not type any values yourself.